Smith. Let's continue the conversation with him. Now, Lamar, that's probably the worst situation for a member of Congress to be in, not being able to, to explain the law and tell us how the chief executive's amnesty action would be legal. Right. It's not right. legal at all, is it? It is not legal. It's political. That's why the Democrats are supporting it, and they're not addressing the question of whether it's legal. We do have a constitutional expert, of course, saying that it is illegal, and the president has no power, no authority to do what he's now threatening to do. That, that constitutional expert is the president of the United States himself, who once taught constitutional law and has said several times over the last several years that he doesn't have the authority to do this. Now he's suddenly switched and said that he does, but it's also interesting, J.D., that usually and almost always the president will uh, turn to his legal office uh, for legal justification and present a document to the American people uh, for why what he's doing is legal. This president has not done it with these executive orders. So either his own legal department has questions uh, or uh, they realize that there's no basis that they can use to uh, issue these executive orders. So this, I mean, this is, I would say this comes awfully close to being a constitutional crisis where you have the president ignoring the Constitution, uh, violating his oath of office to uphold laws, and through executive order trying to change immigration laws on a scale that's never been done before by any president. Lamar, you mentioned the term constitutional crisis. Meantime, the administration is trying to act like this is business as usual. Last week, sneaking through a plan that will legally allow for thousands of Central American children to come to the country just like we saw last summer. Now, some Republicans have called it, quote, border sabotage. Would you agree with that take? Well, I certainly agree that he is undermining border security and he is trying to accomplish uh, indirectly what he couldn't accomplish directly. And by that, I mean here you have a surge of illegal miners coming across the border. And instead of securing the border, the president is going to them and saying, hey, if you apply uh, for uh, asylum in your home countries will let you in. You don't have to come across the border illegally. But the end result is the same. The president just trying to come up with a way once again to go around the law, uh, to go around uh, immigration laws, and allow people in the country uh, who should not be here, or in the case of the executive orders, allow people who are in the country illegally to stay here. Either one is wrong. Either one is thumbing his nose at the laws that have been duly passed. Lamar, while the president works to uh, circumvent the Constitution, apparently he's circ circumventing or changing what he said before. Let's, let's go back in time. Uh, the president, with his autobiography, The Audacity of Hope, made the case that illegal immigration could threaten blue-collar workers. He wrote, and I quote, There's no denying that many blacks share the same anxieties as many whites about the wave of illegal immigration flooding our southern border. It also threatens to depress further the wages of blue-collar Americans and put strains on an already overburdened safety net, end quote. In the minute and a half that remains, Lamar, what changed for Barack Obama? I think Barack Obama has been changed by a political calculus and by the demands of an extreme uh, fringe of the Democratic Party who, for whatever reason, uh, wants to uh, uh, treat those from other countries uh, better than we treat our own American citizens. When you are going to give, as he wants to do, work permits, for example, to millions of people who are in the country illegally, and now allow them to compete with unemployed and underemployed Americans for scarce jobs. You were putting the interest of people from other countries ahead of the interest of American citizens and those in our country uh, legally. So it's a complete, it's, it's amazing that an American president, that a United States president, would put the interest of others who don't live in the country or who are in the country illegally ahead of the interest of American citizens. I don't know that we've ever seen anything like this before. Lamar, 30 seconds. Columnist Selwyn Duke a couple of months ago said it was a notion of bringing in the vote, not getting out the vote, but legalizing illegals to keep the Democrats in charge. Is that the political calculus? The Democrats know full well what the demographics are here and that about 80 percent of the people who uh, are given amnesty uh, when they're registered to vote will likely vote Democratic. Uh, I wish that weren't the case, but those are the demographics, and the uh, president and the Democratic Party are banking on them, and that's why I say they're putting the interest of uh, other individuals ahead and of the interest. We will have to leave US it there. Lamar Smith, thank you.